everyone. This is Kyle from We Tech Care of You. Namaste, Dan Yavad. Uh, Happy New Year. Today is New Year's Eve, so I hope everyone's well. Um, just for this video, I'm just going to show you a quick one on how you change these out of the box um, check boxes to be a check box and not a slider. Um, so for this test, as you can see, uh, we've just got this form pulling from a SharePoint list. Um, and if I just tell you, fill in these. cheese and jalapeno stuffed crust and then with this final confirmation as you can see that this is just a slider and we want to change this to a checkbox now if i just submit this form now that should check that and that value was on so that should check that through and there you can see that was on okay so now i'm going to change this so what you need to do is assuming this is you using a form um and if you go to the data card that you want to change this field to and say for example this is data card value four so i'll just take that and if i just delete or click on lock so you need to unlock your data card first um so if i just copy that text delete that text now if i just come to insert along the top click input and click checkbox that will add a checkbox there now i'll just rename that checkbox back to what the original card was so data card value for that should remove any errors regarding the positioning um, and then what you need to do is if you come to the checkbox that we've just added so you can put your text on i'll just remove the text now um, if you come to the default the default setting and what you need to put in the default here is parent dot default so parent dot default and then what we want to do finally is go into that data card so the data card which this value is in and if you go to the update value and just make sure that that's pointing at that checkbox so because we rename that to, to the value that we deleted that's why it's pointing to it if you didn't rename it you just need to make sure the update property in your data card is pointing at that checkbox that we've added now let's just give this a run so if i change this to carl's pizza 2 me feast 2 i'll keep that cheese jalapeno stuffed crust now if i submit that checked There you can see, so that's submitted pizza two, me feast two, cheese and jalapeno, so crust, and then we've got our checkbox checked there. I'll just uncheck this and I'll just do this again to show this working on an unchecked one. Here, submit again. And there you can see number three, and that's not checked. Okay, so I hope this video helps someone. Please like and subscribe to the channel and take care.